which of the following metal ions found primarily on the outside of cells being located in blood plasma and in the interstitial fluid which surrounds the cells. The options are copper, iron, sodium or magnesium. So, students the correct answer for this question is sodium ion. This question is directly from NCRT. So, students sodium ion found primarily on the outside of cells being located in blood plasma and in the interstitial fluid which surrounds the cell. That means the correct answer is option number C. Moving to the next question, cleavage of CH2 double bond CHO CH2 CH3 with HI gives CH2 double bond CHI plus CH3 CH2 OH. The next option is CH2 double bond CHI plus CH3 OH. The next option is CH3 C double bond OH plus CH3 CH2 I or CH2 double bond CH OH plus CH3 I. Students in this question we are given with a ether which is CH2 double bond CH O CH2 CH3 this is known as ethyl vinyl ether. So, this when reacts with H plus the lone pair of oxygen attacks here and protonation will take place CH O CH2 CH3 protonation will take place. Now, student I minus that is iodide ion will attack via SN2 mechanism that is from the back side and this will attack on this carbon this bond will shift here and the product so obtained will be CH3 CH2 I plus CH2 double bond CH OH. Now, this molecule will undergo tautomerism. and we get acetaldehyde. So, the two compounds or the two products obtained during this reaction is CH3 CH2 I that is ethyl iodide and CH3 C double bond O H that is ethanol. That means the correct answer is option number C. The products obtained are ethanol that is acetaldehyde and ethyl iodide. Moving to the next question, let us read the question students match the following. Students in this question we are given with two columns in column 1 we are given with certain oxides and in column 2 we are given with their characteristics and we have to identify the correct match. So, let us start with the very first oxide which is N2O. Students N2O is neutral in nature. We have generally three neutral oxides one is N2O, one is NO and the last one is CO. Moving to next SO3. Students SO3 is acidic in nature. Moving to next Na2O, this is basic in nature as metallic oxides are generally basic in nature. Moving to last PBO, student lead oxide that is PBO is amphoteric in nature. That means the correct match of A is 2, the correct match of B is 3, the correct match of C is 1 and the correct match of D is 4. That means the correct answer is option number A, the correct match of A is 2, B is 3, C is 1 and D is 4. So, moving to the next question, for the formation of NaOH using Kastner Kellner cell, cathode used is of which metal? The options are mercury, platinum, copper and sodium. Students for the formation of NaOH using Kastner Kellner cell, mercury cathode is used because the sodium metal is obtained as sodium amalgam that means the correct answer is option number A. So, moving to the next question reaction between carbon dioxide and methyl magnesium bromide followed by hydrolysis will give CH3 CHO that is ethanol, CH3 CH2 OH that is ethanol, CH3 COOH that is ethanoic acid and the last option is CH3 CH3 that is ethane. So, let us start the reaction. We are given with methyl magnesium bromide that is CH3 MgBr. This reacts with CO2 that is C double bond O double bond O. Here it is delta positive, here is delta minus, delta minus, delta minus. Student, this carbon will attack on this carbon and this pi bond will shift towards oxygen and the products obtained will be 
CH3 C double bond O O and this MgBr here will form ionic bond with oxygen. Now, student this on acidic hydrolysis that is on reaction with hydronium ion forms ethanoic acid that is CH3 C double bond O O H and the side product so obtained is magnesium O H B R. That means the correct answer is option number C. Ethanoic acid is obtained when methyl magnesium bromide reacts with carbon dioxide followed by acidic hydrolysis. So, moving to the next question.